I need your help dealing with refrigerator freezing up problems. If you've got ice hanging off the condenser or compressor, you have a refrigerant leak. No, it is not literally freezing, at least not on the exterior. If you've got a water leak in the ice maker water tube, you'll get a freezer full of ice. If the drain is frozen over, the defrosted melt water will layer up until there's little space in the fridge. Fortunately, I do not have to literally dig out my frozen dinners before cooking them. If the defrost heater is not working at all, the defrost heater won't melt the frost that forms as humidity in the air freezes to the walls. Over time, the freezer freezes over. You can get that if the drain is kinked or blocked too. If your fridge uses one compressor and condenser in the freezer that vents cold air into the fridge, you'll get an overly cold freezer while the fridge gets warm if the vent between them freezes over. It sounds weird to say I may need to defrost the freezer to get the fridge cold. What if the fridge itself is freezing? See if the temperature control in the fridge has been set too low. I already checked that, and it is set right. Check to see what temperature the fridge thinks it is. How do I do that, if the temperature control is already set right? There is a temperature sensor in the fridge called a thermistor. If that's damaged or broken, it won't read the temperature properly. Replacing a temperature sensor is cheaper than replacing a condenser. If the sensor is reading wrong, you could check to make sure it isn't covered in food debris or too wet. Humidity does not make the fridge colder, it only seems that way. If the high humidity in the fridge shorted out the sensor, it won't read right. If the fridge is too cold, encasing the sensor in ice, it will read too low even when you're airing out the fridge until the ice melts. It would be simpler to blow dry that one sensor than vent the whole fridge. You can check the thermostat by turning the temperature control down and seeing if it clicks, which shows the connection between the thermostat and control still works. If it doesn't, check the thermostat for continuity. The same part has been sitting there forever. I mean electrical connectivity. I'll pay someone else to bring over a multimeter. There's always the possibility the control board is malfunctioning too. Power cycle that, and if it doesn't work, you know something needs to be replaced. Hopefully not the control board. But I don't mind rebooting the control panel as if it were a PC, though I hope it is smarter than my gaming console.